everyone welcome back to CLC today we are doing something a little bit different than originally planned because something major happened in the past two weeks and that was the release of Persona by BTS whom I'm a big fan of and for those of you wondering I got Tay and Jungkook and of course it's not gonna cooperate with me because it's me but those are the two pictures because I know people everybody got different stuff in their versions which is insane um, but so today I'm actually going to be making a BTS inspired soap and not just one, but two. So the first one is going to be black because BTS colors for wings was black and white. So that one's gonna be black and white. And the second one is going to be pink and originally it was gonna be white, but the fragrance oil that I'm using for that one has a lot of vanilla, vanillin, vanilla, a lot of vanilla in it. Vanillin, I can't pronounce the word. So I'm hoping that it turns out to be pink and a creamy color because what I've already done, and I will go ahead and put on my gloves so this way I can show you, it took me a week, a week to make these things because they're very difficult. I eventually got fed up with them and made a mold. But for the BTS one, what is gonna be going inside are these. So it'll be the wings. And I think it's upside down. It is upside down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now they look even. So they're not perfect. They're nowhere near because I'm the one that made them. So it's expected that they're not perfect. And then what's gonna go inside the pink one is for ARMY. And as I said, these aren't white. They were originally gonna be white. They are a tan color because of what vanillin does in the actual white soap. And I did not think about that, so I did not get any titanium dioxide to balance it out. And I completely forgot to use my, you know, clear, stable, vanilla stable soap. But it's fine. It'll all work out. You know, so the pink's going to be around the army. The black's going to be around BTS. I got some silver and some pearlescent stuff. I know it doesn't look very silver. It looks more blue. But I got some of that to be able to spice this up if need be given the fact that there is going to be that vanilla in there with the fragrance oils they are two scents also so this is what i mean by the difference if you can tell this one is a lot more yellow than this one so that's why it discolored the soap the way it did but they both have notes of vanilla in it the one that's going in the pink one is vanilla cotton candy so it's going to be a sweet candy scent and then this one is called devious which I think that's self-explanatory given that it's the BTS fragrance, but it's got more, it's more subtle notes of vanilla, but it's got some uh, very fragrant, it's like not musky, but it's also, it's like, it's hard to describe, honestly, because it's just, there's like, it's like rum vanilla, mm, but it smells so good. Um, and I'm sure the entire time you've been wondering what these amazing, sexy, great things are. Well, I will tell you because this is the first time I've actually had to wear protective eyewear in one of my videos. And that's because I used to wear glasses, but I just got LASIK. I don't have any glasses to wear. So these are what I'm wearing, which are my sleep guards to protect my eyes because you should always wear eyewear to, or protective eyewear when you are making soap, just in case, you never know. So I've got those on now. And we're gonna start with melting down. I have clear and goat's milk down at the bottom. That's because I didn't wanna waste any of the soap that I used to make the wings and the shield. And it's the same in this one. This is gonna be the um, vanilla cotton candy scent, the pink one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start melting these down. We're gonna be doing both of them. So we'll have two loaves by the time we're done. Fingers crossed that I don't mess it up too bad. But this is me, so. You know, I'm also gonna go put the BTS CD back so this way I don't ruin anything about it. Be back soon. Okay, so it's all pretty much melted down and I always forget just how potent goat's milk is when it comes to making it white because that was only five ounces of goat's milk compared to, it'd probably help if you guys could see. That's five ounces of goat's milk and 34 ounces of soap. So 29 ounces of that is clear and it's still so bright white. But it's whatevs. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my color. But first I mix my black with rubbing alcohol. 
And I'm actually just gonna move this out of the way because I'm gonna need room to work. Okay, so I've got my black pearl mica, which means it is gonna be a little bit sparkly because of that pearl. This isn't activated charcoal or anything, which I might do at some point. I'm gonna, there we go. Put that there, and hopefully I don't be an idiot and knock it over, because <laughs> this is me we're talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good stir. And hope that the white doesn't make it too gray. If I have to put more in, I will. I might. I don't honestly know. I'm gonna set that there so this way I don't stain my countertop like normal. I was hoping that the goat's milk wouldn't be that obvious because I didn't want to waste that soap or that fragrance oil because it's the same fragrance oil in that soap that's going to be going in here, but stuff happens. You live and you learn. Next time I know to just use all clear and I'm using the right fragrance oil, it's a great thing to check before I pour it, all of it in. Make sure that it's thoroughly mixed in there. Move that off to the side. Now I'm gonna work on one loaf at a time just because I don't wanna confuse myself, because I know that I will. And also I don't want to risk having to move the molds multiple times to continue putting in layers, because I am gonna have to do this in layers. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top back on that, move that out the way. And I'm going to bring in two things. First, my scale, because I want to make sure that the layers are even. Second, I'm going to bring in the mold, if it'll come. Just set that right there for now. And then third, I'm gonna, no, I don't need to bring those in yet, because haha, -ha, I'm not there yet. I'm just pouring the first layer. So the hope is that this will be even. J-Hope be with me. But I'm hoping that it'll be even on both sides so this way the two symbols, the two wings are relatively even in the middle. So I'm going to do eight ounces, nine ounces, nine ounces, eight ounces as I pour. So. That's what I'm hoping will happen. Okay, I have my rubbing alcohol. Just four shiggles. We're just gonna go ahead and prep it. I probably should have turned this to where you guys could see the ounces, but I kinda need to see the ounces. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ha! Ho! Oh, oh, that was perfect. All right, Julio. So now we're gonna spray this down and let this harden. So I want to thank one of my friends who is also an army because she actually stopped me from doing this the stupidest way possible because originally what I was gonna do so I was gonna do a layer and I was gonna stick the symbols standing straight up and then find ways to keep them standing as I poured another layer in, which now that I think about it is absolutely 100% stupid um, because it was my idea. And then she was like, oh yeah, no, so you're gonna do it in layers, like lay them down. And I was just like, that's a great idea. So we're gonna do this layer, then we're gonna set one of the pieces inside on top of it, spray it with rubbing alcohol, pour another layer on top, let that harden, set the other white piece down, spray all that with rubbing alcohol after it hardens, and then go from there and pour the last layer. So 
her idea is a lot easier than mine is because I don't have to worry about eh, eh, eh. I don't know what those sound effects were, but holding them up while it's setting. So we're going to let this set and we'll be back in literally one second. Alrighty, so we are back and it is time to put in our little wing. Ooh, I'm gonna try to center it out. And as I said, I know that they're not gonna be perfect this time because this is the first time I'm making them, but I'll give you guys a better look if I can. So hopefully they will work out well. I also, I put this back in for a little bit just because I didn't want it to be so hot, but I didn't want it to be like gloopy because I only need nine ounces. So I'm gonna try to hold the gloopiness as I measure this out. Actually, let me, should be good. We shouldn't melt. If we melt, I might cry just because of how long I spent working on this. I'm trying to like, think that I might need more than one hand. Or, <laughs> I have more than one hand, but I need more than two hands. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. So I'm just gonna. Okay. So now that we have that, we're gonna. Do our rubbing alcohol. We're gonna let that set now, and then we're gonna stick the other piece on, and then just finish it off. Hopefully. Ew, I'm getting really gloopy. But we will be back once this sets. Okay, so this hardened up pretty well, and I had to actually look back on the footage to see which way I put this in so here's to hoping that it's right because <laughs> if not that's gonna be sad <laughs> um but i'm just gonna put that up there look down this way make sure it's all nice and centered all righty everything looks good i'm nervously fiddling um i melted this back down because it was very gloopy and I also realized I didn't need to measure nine, 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 eight, or whatever. I just needed to know the first two because I don't need to worry about pouring the last one. Um, oh, I got a sparkle on that. Another sparkle. <laughs> Sparkles aren't supposed to be in this though. There we go. So, or at least not this color. It's probably mica. Okay, so this should be pretty cool. Yeah, it doesn't seem too hot, so. I'm going to just pour. Oh, that was a big glob that I did not realize was in there. Because I'm a professional. Okay. Looks like I do have to worry about that big glob not being very pretty. I'm just gonna push it down. It should be good. So I'm gonna let this set. I keep coming, air bubbles. So I'm gonna let this set um, overnight, obviously, but I'm also gonna let this set for a little bit before I start on the pink, just because I don't wanna move it because the top is still um, like liquidy. That's the word I'm looking for, goodness gracious. So, uh, the pink one, I'm just going to kind of breeze through it. One, because you've already seen me do this one, and the process is pretty much the same. Also, because I just, I don't have as high hopes for that one, which is fitting, because it represents ARMY, which is me, and I'm a hot mess, so the soap just represents me. Oh, I love peeling. Um, so, it, it makes sense that it would be a hot mess, because, you know, it's representation of me and bubbles. 
So I'm gonna breeze right through it. Enjoy. All right, so we have our two BTS soaps, our BTS and our ARMY soaps. So we'll see how they look. We'll see if I did the angles, uh, put the pieces in correctly, and hopefully they all stay and last together. There we go, make them look nice and pretty. We will be back to cut these. Um, I might give them a little bit longer to set just to make sure that everything adheres together, but yeah. They smell amazing. Again, this is, they're both vanilla based, so the two scents do go together. It's just this one's a little bit more sweeter than this one. So let's wait and see how they look. Well, you're not gonna wait very long. So we'll see you in a sec. Alrighty, so it has been more than 24 hours, and that is because when I first unmolded them, I'll put up some pictures, um, not all the layers had bonded together quite yet, so I put them back, let them sit for longer, and now I'm pretty sure they should be good. So here's to hoping that they're good and I'm not just about to screw up literally like a month's worth. Nah, more like two weeks. It took me about a week to make the first layer. <clears throat> but see, you can tell uh, I might, I might wait to cut this one because I have a way to fix that. So let me take a look at this one. Oh, come on. All right, now let's take a look at you. This one looks like it could use a little bit too, but not a lot. So what I'm actually gonna do before I cut them is I have a heat gun and I'm going to use that to melt them ever so slightly just along this crease because as you can tell, it's not fully together. It pulls out just a little bit. So that means when I cut it, it's gonna chunk off. So I'm just gonna use my little melter, melt that, and then we will be back. Okay, so I have done the heating. I don't know if they're still gonna stay. If not, I can fix them using that method again. Just I like to try doing it before I have them cut because it's a quicker process. I'm gonna start off with this one because this one took a little bit more heat, so it's just still setting just a little bit. I just wanna be extra careful. So I'm gonna start off with the army soap. All right, let's see if it stays together. Ooh, it's not bad. I mean, it's a little wobbly. It could use finer definition, a better mold, but it's staying together.
Okay, now for this guy. This one, you can see there's some very strong definition on the lines. Again, I can fix that. It's not really that big of a deal. Once I go through the finishing processes and all that kind of stuff, that'll be taken care of. But until then, we have BTS. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of line definition from these ones in the center. I know I had one piece or two that are coming loose right there. Those I can fix because it is melt and pour, thank goodness. I don't know why it appeared more in the middle pieces than it did the outer pieces for the BTS themed soap, but there are more, it, it seems to be more defined on that bottom line over here on the pink one too in the middle. So I don't exactly know why that happened. Maybe there wasn't enough weight. There was too much weight. Something like that, I'm not quite sure. Um, again, the molds for the insides aren't perfect, but you know, considering I did them, they're pretty good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through it, I'm gonna fix all of these up. They will be available on my Etsy shortly. Um, for some reason I can never get the Etsy ads, or the Etsy, whatever, what are they called? Etsy um, listings, that's the word. The Etsy listings up as quickly as I can the videos I'm not sure why my brain functions like that but it will be up shortly each bar is only five dollars plus shipping I try to keep things as low as possible for you guys but if you guys enjoyed this video of me being a huge nerd and fan of BTS please feel free to comment like subscribe one or the other or all three I don't you know I'm not picky so yeah, maybe maybe this time I'll actually be honest and, and say I have no idea what I'm gonna do next because every time I'm like, I'm gonna do a thing on the next video, I probably more than likely don't end up doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go clean all these up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.